Welcome to another quick unboxing review and on today's episode I've got something my wonderful daughter bought me. I haven't seen these in a few years and looking at the back yeah it's from 2019. My daughter got it real cheap. It's in great condition too. I don't know much about Transformers Cyberverse. I didn't watch it. A lot of the new iterations of Transformers, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and all that stuff I don't watch because every time they reboot it or they try to do something new with it honestly I'm always disappointed my daughter knows that I like hot rod and that I really like shark the cons so she got me this I'm glad she didn't have to break the bank for this and since I do not enjoy unboxing and transforming the new transformers because they're so complicated to transform today is a nice calm lazy Saturday afternoon. I just want to mess with a little toy, put it on the coffee table while I drink my coffee, then go back, transform it again, and then maybe launch it off the coffee table. This guy, it says on the back that Hot Rod transforms in four easy steps. And the Sharkticons transform in four easy steps. I didn't even know they transformed. Let's get into it. Taking a look at the packaging, it looks pretty cool. Hot Rod is on black, and I don't understand that. If he's kind of got red accents up here. If you watch this show, let me know what's going on here. And then you got the little baby shark decons, maybe? Maybe they're babies? I don't know. Oh, there's Starscream. Shockwave and, of course, Megatron. Then on the back, very simple. Everything's pretty simple. This doesn't seem to be, oh, six and up. And hopefully it is that easy to transform them. Looks like Bumblebee is the main star of Cyberverse. Instructions? Yeah. Four easy steps for both of them. Sharkticons look a lot easier. I could probably do this without even reading the instructions. And then I guess choking hazard. And this is really nice. This is something that you couldn't really see with all these figures in front of it. This background is actually very, very nice. Taking a look at Hot Rod, he looks a lot better out of the packaging. The back though looks, mm, but it does remind me of the G1 Transformers. Although the G1 Hot Rod didn't have his back looking that messed up. Well, actually, comparing them side to side, it's, it's kind of almost equal there. I still do prefer the original colors. There's a spring inside this one. Uh, that looks a bit promising. He doesn't seem to have that much articulation. Neither did the original one. But still, in the left hand with the blade, seems to move around a lot, okay. But I can't get this right, there we go. His arms don't go up and down, except at the elbows. No leg articulation, uh, I don't think that counts. So he's got two points of articulation, but he's got wheels. We'll see how he rolls. I've got three shark decons right here. I thought they all had different colors, but I got two with green and one with orange. I don't know if he's supposed to be maybe the leader and him, his two little minions, but we'll take the leader in this case and check him out. He's in shark mode and he goes, wow. These are his little arms. There's no articulation there, but he's got ball joint legs. And so they move all the way around. And just by looking at them, I think I already know how to transform them. We'll figure this out in just a bit. Detail all the way around. It looks pretty nice. It looks more like a, like a dog. This is my Rubik's Cube. This is as far as I can get. So this being only four steps for each of the Sharkticons and Hot Rod. This is gonna be suitable for me. You gotta bring in his blade, twist them this way, 
pull this up, but it kind of already did that on its own. And then bring in his arms. Oh, wow. Okay, he is already done. Sweet, nice, and easy. And in car mode, it looks like the Batmobile. So I really, really like it. Let's see how he rolls. Pretty smooth. It's nice. Though I could hear a lot of pieces kind of dragging across here. Let's transform the shark decons. So I bring the head up. Bring the head up. Okay. Head up and twist. And then bring the head down. I'm done. That was probably just three steps instead of four. His arms in shark mode turn into his feet, which have no articulation, but his back hind legs turn into his upper arms in robot mode, and that has articulation. And now that Shark Decon looks pretty sweet. I like it. He's even smiling. He's, he looks cute and friendly. And I'm not sure. I think I like him more in robot mode, but because it's Shark Decon, I think I might just keep him in shark mode. I really like this. Something I was noticing with Hot Rod right now was as long as you got his arms lined up and ready for car mode, all you got to do is just twist his lower body or his ankles there and he already transforms. Boom. Look at that. So, boom. But honestly, I think that just might be too simple for me. I mean, I know I'm not very good at my Rubik's Cube, but just twisting it and transforming it, kind of too, oh, oops. I think that fixes pretty easy. Just put this thing back in there. There we go. All right. My final thoughts on these Transformers Cyberverse, Battle for Cybertron, Sharkticons, and Hot Rod. It's pretty sweet, pretty neat. I really like it. Hot Rod is just a little too easy to transform, but that's okay. He's, he's real nice. I can lend them out to my nephews and the Sharkticons. Well, I got a Sharkticon family now. I got the mom, the dad, and the three kids. Boom, nuclear family. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and join me back on the next quick unboxing review.